Hello, my name is Tommy Boland. I'm Professor of Sheep Production and Rumen Nutrition in the School of Agriculture and Food Science in University College Dublin. Today I'd like to welcome you to UCD Lions Farm as part of the Agriculture, Food Science and Human Nutrition Summer School 2021. UCD Lions Farm is an integral part of our activities in the School of Agriculture and Food Science and the School of Veterinary Medicine in University College Dublin. We're located just west of Dublin City off the M7 motorway we're in close proximity to Selbridge, Newcastle and Nice. The farm consists of approximately 250 hectares which supports our teaching, research, innovation and outreach activities within the School of Agriculture and Food Science and the School of Veterinary Medicine. The farm supports a 200 cow dairy herd, our 400 strong yo flock. We have between 300 and 400 beef cattle on the farm at any one time and we also have 50 hectares of combinable crops on the farm to support research into cereal crop production. In addition to this, we have equine facilities, pigs and poultry facilities on the farm, which allows us to impart into our students the history of agri-food practice and production in Ireland. We allow them to experience the present environment in agri-food production, and we also allow them to shape the future by learning and engaging in the research activities on UCD Lines Farm. UCD Lions Farm is an integral part of the teaching and research activities within the School of Agriculture and Food Science and the School of Veterinary Medicine in University College Dublin. Our students, as part of their undergraduate degree programmes in Agricultural Systems Technology, Animal Science, Animal and Crop Production, Crop Science, Dairy Business and Equine Science, will spend time at the University Farm right across the four years of their undergraduate degree programmes with us in Belfield. It's a fantastic opportunity to allow our students to put into practice the theoretical knowledge they have learned in the lecture hall out here on our research farm, which is conducting cutting edge research across animal and crop sciences and many other and varied disciplines. A key asset of University College Dublin is we are the only university in Ireland with its own research farm. And this allows us and our researchers to bring forward the most up-to-date and current research knowledge and activity to our undergraduate students. So for any students which decide to study an undergraduate degree programme in UCD, you will be exposed to some of the leading researchers internationally in their respective fields. This is a key strength of our education and research programmes as you're exposed to new knowledge and the people who are generating this new knowledge and bringing it forward to support the agri-food industry in Ireland and internationally. University College Dublin is unique nationally as the only university in Ireland with access and the ownership of its own research farm. This allows our staff in the School of Agriculture and Food Science to address the challenges uh, facing the agri-food industry at the moment. Everyone listening today will be familiar with the environmental, climate change and biodiversity challenges facing us all, not least those of us involved in agriculture and food production. I'm currently standing on the UCD long-term grazing platform, where, as part of the Smarts World project, we're currently looking for solutions to a number of these challenges facing sustainable livestock production nationally. The UCD long-term grazing platform is part of the Global Farm Platform, which is an international collaboration looking at solutions and supporting sustainable livestock production systems. The UCD Lions long-term grazing platform is a globally unique facility as we have 12 two-hectare hydrologically isolated paddocks, which allows us to collect all the drainage water being drained from this area and to analyse it for its nutrient content. This is a massively important resource as we measure the nutrient loss under our various swar production systems in an effort to develop swar production systems which can mitigate and reduce nutrient loss to the environment. 